Good morning everybody and welcome. I am Mel Sol, Director of Instruction at the Mel Sol Golf School and we are located at beautiful Pawleys Plantation Golf and Country Club in Pawleys Island, South Carolina. We are just down the road a half an hour from Myrtle Beach, the golf capital of the world. So when you come down and you come to golf school, you have a great choice of golf courses that are within 10 minutes drive. So you're guaranteed that you can improve your game and you're gonna play some great golf. So come and see us. Today's tip is on the grip. And my other instructors and I, we are amazed at the different grips that we see. And so you get, you know, with this right hand is like this, you get the right hand, the shoulders like that. Easy, easy way to understand the grip is just clap the hands. If you clap the hands like that, see why well, palms are adjacent to one another. I don't clap like this or like this or I clap like that. So put the two palms together. Now, when you're here, take, because this right shoulder has got to go lower, I slide that down. But the palms are still there. Now I close my hand, palms are still back of the hand to the target and palm to the target there. So when I put the hand, this hand, back of the hand to the target, this hand palm to the target, if I pick it up in front and I open my hand or I open my hand, the palms are adjacent to one another. If I lift the club up in front of me, I want to see the club face, this leading edge here, I want to see that perpendicular to the ground. If that club face is like this or like that, the ball's not going to go straight. So I want to have that sitting nice and perpendicular to the ground. There are three types of grips. There is what we call the overlapping, where the small finger overlaps the index finger like that. That is the most common and most used grip in all of golf. However, there's also what we call the interlocking. Interlocking is similar, but it's for people with smaller fingers, short fingers, meaty palms. So Jack Nicholas was one of those. He had very meaty palms, but his fingers weren't very long. So he struggled to get that over. So he went with the interlocking grip. So for those of you with small fingers, that might be a chance. And then for those of you, either senior golfers or lady golfers that don't, don't have a lot of strength in their hands, that what we call the 10 finger grip, where you have no overlapping at all and you have all 10 fingers on the grip. All three have the palms adjacent to one another. So, take, get someone to take a picture of your grip. Because again, there's perception and reality. There's what you think you're doing or what you are doing. Get them to take a picture of your grip and have a look at it. And see whether this thumb is working straight down with the back of the left hand to the target. And this thumb just slightly over. But if you open your hand, you want that palm going through. That way, when I go through, I'm going to... Let the palm go through. So whatever, when my hands are on the club like that, whatever my hands are doing, the club face is doing. So if I want to draw the ball, I turn my hands. If I want to fade the ball, I don't turn my hands. So I can draw or fade the ball at will just by what my hands are doing. Work on your grip. I've never seen a really good golfer with a bad grip. Thanks for watching.